In the heart of the eastern regional town of Adoso, one teacher is spearheading a transformative movement, paving the way for a brighter future for girls at the Mampon Kwanta MA School. Meet Ejewa, an English teacher who nine years ago embarked on a journey that would redefine education in Adoso. I've been in this community for nine years. This, is my, this place is my first station to teach. So uh, when, I, when I got here, I saw a lot of challenges that the girls were going through. The Mampon Kwanta School, a pillar of learning for over 60 years, has a population of 240 pupils, out of which 113 are girls. It is faced with structural and resource challenges, yet the commitment to nurture these students remain primary. Sanitary towel, the prices is going high. And even with the workers, sometimes buying it, though we buy them, but we kind of, it's with some sort of pain. Why should we be charged? Why should something that is natural, which is something that is part of a woman, why should we pay such a price in maintaining ourselves as a woman? And I also realized that. When you go to some of the communities, you will see a lot of girls, teenage girls being pregnant. And some of the reason is that they needed money for sanitary towels. However, headmaster Osei Isaac Nyeneku is also worried about the low attendance of some girls in the junior high school because of their menstrual cycle. Sometimes you go to the classroom, especially at the junior high level, you see that most of the girls uh, aren't in school. You'll be asking why. Some of you tell you they are, they are finding pains in their abdominal pains and the rest. But close observation realizes that some of them lack a lot of things. That is why they are not able to come to school. <laughs> Many of the school girls were getting pregnant in the bid to get sanitary pads. Because they couldn't afford it monthly, others resorted to odd jobs and missing school in the process. Pascaline's mother, a watchy seller in the school, is worried about the situation. Sanitary pads here are quite expensive and there's nothing we can do about it. Business is slow, so it's difficult to buy. My daughter bleeds heavily and sometimes requires two cents, but I cannot afford it. Please, something should be done about the prices. Determined to make a difference, Ejewa conceived the idea of creating reusable parts using simple materials, cloth, an absorber, scissors, needle, and thread, a cost-effective solution to a pervasive problem. Thinking through, I realized that um, our, our great-grandmothers were using this amwasin, and I was like, this amwasin is Quite, it's eco-friendly because one, it doesn't litter like the disposable sanitary towels that we all use. So I decided to see if we could modernize it and then pick it up, train the girls. So if anyone, if all of them can have that skill, then they wouldn't need to go beg anybody for money. Teaching one girl at a time, her impact extended beyond the classroom reaching over 20 communities in the Adoso enclave. I was 12 years old when I got my period. I was scared and my mother told me not to be afraid. It was just, it's just normal. Every woman has to in the streets. And my mother doesn't have money. Sometimes if my mother had money, she would buy parts for me and my sister. It's using the part that we watch is good than using the ordinary one. Why? Because the one we are serving, we can wash it, but that one we can't. My teacher is teaching me that if I take the material, I'll cut it. If I cut it, I'll take hand needle to, to sew it. When I was finished, I'll take the scissors to cut small one. When I sewed it, I'll take it to put the big bag. 
and I'll sell it. It's better than the one my mother is fighting for me. That will help um, us from being. Um, sometimes um, the students have sex with um, the boys so that they can get money to buy um, the sanitary pad. And I think this um, training will help us from being sexually related with the boys. Her outreach efforts have significantly improved school attendance, garnering appreciation from the headmaster. And for this term, since the introduction of those things last term, he started the advocacy and he trained few of the girls. This term, only yesterday I went for the class register to, to look in to see those through one term so that, but I realized that the girls are always in school. So I think that one is helping them a lot. Even the Municipal Girls Education Officer, Gifty Shen, insists she extends her initiative to all seven education chapters in the region. The impactful campaign advocating for a reduction in the prices of sanitary pads has borne fruit. With the government taking a commendable step by eliminating taxes on locally produced pads set to take off next year. For Joy News, I am Amisi Yameche Thompson.